So today we are discussing the Dredge's add-ons. In this video we are going to be discussing exactly what it is that each one of his add-ons does and more importantly where they stack up against each other on the tier list if they are absolutely fantastic or if you should avoid them at all costs because there are a couple for either side. Now with these videos I don't like to take the mic, I don't like making them half an hour longer than that so I'm going to be very quick, I'm going to quickly cycle through them, give a little bit of an explanation on what they do and why I do or don't like them, why I put them where I put them so without further ado let's get straight into it now the first one is the brown wooden plank now the brown wooden plank makes it so that you gain an extra 25% nightfall charge rate every time that you hook a survivor so really quickly for those of you that don't know to get nightfall dredge has to charge 300 charges of the bar 300 makes it full 300 activates nightfall every time you hook a survivor that is 20 points with this add-on it is 25 and it isn't actually too bad again it's just a little kind of push to help with the nightfall you will always get benefits from it and it isn't that that bad for a brown considering that it'll just always be passively working whenever you hook a survivor maybe five points isn't the most but it is better than none at all so yeah wooden planks are fine fine one next up is the followers cowl the followers cowl makes it so that when you teleport back to your remnant outside of nightfall you will still get killer instinct on the survivors and honestly i'm also going to be sticking this one in c tier as well now you're not going to get super consistent value from this at the end of the day if you're chasing survivors around a loop with your remnant you'd pretty much know where they're going to be but occasionally this can help kind of determine if they're doubling back if they're going to commit to a loop or sometimes even if they leave the tile entirely which can happen so for occasional little bonuses for occasional little bit of information which could be useful i do have to stick it in the c tier next up we have the caffeine tablets which make it so that when the dredge charges his power when you can see the aura of all the lockers the lockers that are locked will now show in yellow before you even have to teleport to them and again i'm gonna have to stick this in c tier i'm gonna stick it probably just a little bit ahead of followers cowl now the only problem with this is sometimes there's still nothing you can really do about it sometimes you have to teleport to a place that you know there is a locked locker now the reason why i'm sticking this in c tier though is because at the start of the game once your first teleport and power has been activated and you're able to use it when you charge it you may be able to get a good little inkling on where survivors have been because obviously auras of the lockers where survivors have spawned and where survivors are working on their first generators will be in yellow so you can use that to your benefit it's still not super good though because at the end of the day you could still just teleport around anyway until you hear something but it can just give you a little bit more information on to do so and finally we have the mortar and pestle and this one's a little bit tricky to understand but basically when i teleport back to my remnant normally i will teleport and face the direction where i place the remnant so if i'm looking right around a loop i place the remnant and then teleport back i will look the exact same direction i will be looking right going right but with this you will look in whatever direction you teleport in so if i place it right but i look around the loop look left and teleport i will then look left it's a little bit finicky but it just kind of does help occasionally with a little bit of the orientation that can happen with teleporting back to his remnant however i do have to stick this in d tier not only can you just kind of avoid this by just learning how to place your remnant better around loops but at the end of the day if you get used to this too much when you don't have access to it it will really mess up your teleporting a little bit more as i always say with killers you need to get used to the base before you can experiment with stuff that changes your power so if you get used to this too soon it can really mess you up when you don't have access to it so i have to put it in d because it isn't super useful Next up, we have the yellows. The first one being the Mall Thinker Skull. Basically, this one increases the nightfall charge rate for every survivor that's injured by an additional 66% per second. So, normally, when you injure survivor, if you have one injured survivor, it's one token to charge rate per second. At two, it's two. At three, it's three. At four, it's four. But with this, it basically increases it. So, when you damage one survivor, it's 1.66, and so on and so forth. This, without question, is one of his best add ons. I am obsessed with this add on. It is is phenomenal for making your nightfall charge as fast as possible now the only thing about it is that you do have to be very careful and you do have to kind of go out of your way to injure as many survivors as you, that you can you kind of do have to adopt a little bit of a hit and run technique with this add-on but once you get the payoff it is really noticeable and to be fair i pretty much get noticeable differences every time that i run this easily one of my favorite add-ons for him and I, I just think i just think it's honestly wonderful it really helps in charging your nightfall Next up for the yellows, we have another fantastic one. We have Haddy Scalander, which reduces the time to emerge from a locker or to exit a locker by one second. Now, that may not sound like much, but honestly, it is 
easily S tier. It is fantastic. Because, again, one second may not sound like a lot, but it really, really is, especially if the locker is locked. The speed in which you can re-emerge from these lockers will always jump survivors and give them a little less time to react, making sure that you can more or less get the hit, and it just speeds up the process, speeds up the dredge, so you're constantly doing something. You're not waiting to emerge from lockers. You're not waiting. It's just so much faster. And honestly, it really doesn't sound like a lot, but I, every time that I run this, the game is absolutely better for me. Next up, we have the Fallen Shingle, which increases the Nightfall charge rate every time you use your power, the Reign of Darkness, by 15%. Now, again, this one, whenever you use your power, so whenever you're charging, whenever you're hiding in a locker or anything like that, you will gain an extra 15% increase into the Nightfall charge. Honestly, I'm going to stick this at the very top end of C. I think it can be really good, and it does definitely help a little bit, but I think there are better add-ons for it. I think also the wording of this in the description can be a little bit confusing, because honestly, it took me ages to find out what this actually did because it, it could be a little bit more specific however it does help gain your nightfall faster it does help just kind of chat up that little bar a little bit faster which is always a good thing but there are other add-ons that do a much much better job than it so i do have to stick it in c unfortunately Next up, we have the Burnt Letters, which increase the amount of charges that you get for Nightfall every time you injure a survivor by 25%. So very similar to the Wooden Plank, instead of hooking for the benefit, this one is just injuring. And they may not sound like much, but honestly, it does so much more. Bent letters, A tier, without question. Because the thing about dredge is you will constantly be hitting people, obviously, more than you are hooking them, even if it's just for the first injure. But as survivors, as dredge, you will want to be as he fully healed as possible as much as you can. If you're injured, you will be helping him achieve his nightfall. So every time that a survivor does heal, you can additionally get that little 5% charges, or the 25%, the additional 5 charges per hit. And it may not sound like much, but again, it's really good for just constantly making sure that your nightfall charges faster. And especially paired with the Mall Thinker Skull, I think Mall Thinker Skull and the Bent Letters are probably some of my favourite add-on combinations for Dredge. Next up we have the Air Freshener which makes it so that you can start the trial with 4 power tokens instead of 3, so instead of being able to bounce around the lockers 3 times before you have to emerge, you can do it 4. May sound really good, but honestly I'm probably going to stick it uh, there at most. And I think I might be being a bit generous there. There is more or less no extra need for the extra power token. With When you get used to the dredge, when you're good and active and know how to use his teleport and his abilities, you will not need that extra one. With three teleporting tokens, you should easily be able to find the next chase, find a gen to pressure, be able to pressure a hook survivor, whatever you may need. The extra power token is a little bit, you know, it, it may sound good, but it actually isn't that good in practice. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to stick it and see. Next up, we have the worry stone which reveals the aura of survivors for six seconds every single time that they lock a locker this one without question a tier no no doubt about it not only is it really good for punishing the survivors that know how to counter dredge because good survivors will know that they only really have to close one locker within a loop so not only will you see that more or less from the start of the game and knowing exactly where to go but good survivors who know like when and shoot how to choose to lock their lockers will really benefit from this because it's constant information throughout the game it's really good not a, not a bad green one at all and definitely one worth running if you've got it Next up we have the War Helmet which increases the duration of Killer Instinct by one and a half seconds when you're in Nightfall. This one, it's pointless. It's absolutely pointless. I honestly, I'm really not a fan of add-ons that increase Killer Instinct or do it have anything to do with Killer Instinct for the most part because similar to the, like, the Artist and the Dredge, Killer Instinct makes up like 5% use of his power. There's no point giving the extra 1.5 seconds. It will not do anything, especially in Nightfall. In Nightfall, you're able to bounce around as much as you more or less like. So even if you do lose somebody, just teleport to another locker, find somebody else within two seconds and you're absolutely grand. 1.5 extra uh, killer instinct does nothing so yeah don't run it you don't need to next up we have the otomarian writing which decreases the cooldown duration of the gloaming by four seconds so at the start of the game when your power loads or just after you've teleported when your power is recharging it will take four seconds less during the daytime again really good because of that it's going there. I'm actually going to stick it above the Worry Stone because the thing about the Dredge is his teleporting is probably the biggest component to his power. The map presence that he can get from that is absolutely phenomenal. So not only is Nightfall absolutely brilliant for him if you can power up what he's like in the daytime then you are going to have a much better and consistent Dredge game. So the fact that you're able to teleport much faster in the daytime with this 
is is fantastic or maybe not faster but more consistently more more times because you're waiting less for your power so yeah automarian writing a team a tier without question next up we have the destroyed pillow and kind of like the automarian writing this one is more or less the exact same but during nightfall for two and a half seconds so in nightfall your power will recharge 2.5 seconds faster allowing you to teleport much much faster now honestly I'm actually going to be sticking this one at the top of B because not only is Nightfall horrendously good anyway as it is for the Dredge, this one can enhance it and definitely make Nightfall even scarier, but you don't necessarily need to make Nightfall scarier because the best kind of Dredge is the is the one that can really profit off of his Nightfall, but then the add-ons that he brings that help him during the Dayfall, the Daytime, whatever you want to call it, is really where the good Dredges will stand out from the greats because if you can power up the Daytime, that will be in so much better for you because nightfall is already very very strong so this again a great add-on don't get me wrong but not really needed because nightfall is so strong as it is so i'm gonna stick it dead in the middle dead in the middle Next up, we have the Broken Doll. Very, very simple one. This increases the duration of Nightfall for 20 seconds. So, whenever Nightfall hits 20 seconds longer, it will always be. For that, easily A tier. Again, the Dredge has some fantastic add-ons, to be honest. He really, really does have some wonderful add-ons. Broken Doll, again, Nightfall is his ultimate mode. The more you can stay in Nightfall, the more you can achieve in it, the better your game will be as the Dredge. So, that extra 20 seconds every single time that you hit Nightfall is just fantastic because you can clutch a lot in those 20 seconds next up we have the tilling blade which if you injure a healthy survivor in nightfall they will then be afflicted with blindness hemorrhage and mangled status effects for 60 seconds now again this may sound fantastic but honestly i'm probably going to stick it at the top end of c i think that it can be good when you get it but it's not consistent enough because during nightfall that's when you want downs you want to chase the injured survivors you want to quickly get them down to use your teleporting to pressure the gens find the next chase and move on so it can be good obviously for helping survivors stay injured to charge your nightfall but it isn't the best that you can bring and i don't think it's quite right being a purple being a very rare add-on i think if this was green it would be inherently better but i would expect a little bit more from um from a purple um it's definitely not a bad one you'll probably see benefits from it but i think there's just better options out there for you and for your dredge Next up, we have the Lavalier Microphone, which makes it so that when you spend your last tokens, when you teleport to a locker for the third time, you will see the auras of all survivors for three seconds. And on top of that, upon entering a locker, any locker that has a survivor within six meters of it, they will kind of open and slam their doors closed. So this can be really good for almost like a stealthy play for keeping survivors horrendously on their toes all the time. Because when they hear a locker, even though you might not be there, they might think you are, run away, stop working on the gen and whatnot. So so I'm actually going to give this one the bottom of B. Again, I think there are stronger add-ons out there and you kind of do have to adapt to the play style of this one. And if you do want the benefits from it, you do have to kind of sacrifice the tokens and maybe go out of your way to make sure that you burn all three before you really get into a chase. So I can't say that it's the best, but you will get some benefits from this and it may keep survivors on their toes a little bit more, a little bit more paranoid, which is great for the dredge. So yeah, bottom of B, I'd say. Next up, we have the field recorder, which basically means at the start of the trial, you will start in nightfall. When the last generator is complete, it will start nightfall again. And if any survivor runs through your remnant, they will also be exhausted for 15 seconds, I believe it is. This one, again, S tier without question a fantastic add-on again the best thing about night uh, dredge is the nightfall you want to be in nightfall as much as you can this basically gives you two extra guaranteed nightfalls one at the very start so that you can get into a chase within 10 seconds of the game starting and then if you've had a bit of a rougher game it will happen at the end so you're able to quickly clean up the last survivors that you've got remaining and if any survivors feel comfortable enough to walk through your remnant they will be punished with being exhausted um, absolutely fantastic and um, without question one of his best and speaking of one of his best, again, the boat key. The boat key basically increases the teleportation speed of dredge by 25% during the daytime. And when all the generators have been completed, any locked locker, the locks will instantly break on every single one so that at the end of the game, there are no locked lockers. This is easily, again, 
S tier. I'm actually going to stick it there. I think, honestly, Dredge has, some, as I said, really good add-ons, but he's fantastic. Not only is increased teleporting speed during the daytime fantastic, because that is one of the only things that kind of can hold Dredge back a little bit, is depending on how, the, the size of the map, sometimes it can take a good five seconds to teleport from one locker to the other. Sometimes if you have a little bit of need for the speed, so say if somebody's just been unhooked with Make Your Choice and you need to teleport back there real quick, sometimes the speed can be a little bit daunting. With this, it really, really does help. Not even so much for the lock lockers that's a great benefit at the end but the reason why this is so good is for the teleportation speed during the daytime as it is fantastic now finally we are on his iridescent add-ons the first is the sacrificial knife which makes it so that if you exit a locker during nightfall any vault locations within 16 meters will be blocked off for six seconds uh, five seconds sorry and may sound good i did a little video on this a couple of days ago this is his worst add-on it is terrible and not only that it is an iridescent which is salt in the wounds right so not only do you have to be in nightfall for this so it's very very coincidental as it is very very rare you maybe get this three or four times a game and honestly the worst part about this is the fact that even though it says 16 meters volts are locked off within five seconds that is so so temperamental because it depends what map you're on it depends where the survivors are it depends where the generators are it depends where the lockers are there are so many external factors to take this into consideration and even if you do get it to kind of work and you do get to block off a couple of vaults survivors can loop one more time five seconds is done they can take the vault it does nothing absolutely nothing the only time that i've ever got value from this is on the game where the vault kind of you can jump down uh, like down the pig vat kind of thing that one i did catch a couple of survivors but again i hit them once they ran off and it was more or less done so yeah it's absolutely terrible i hate this add-on and finally we have the iridescent wooden plank which makes it so that survivors for the last 12 seconds of nightfall will suffer from the exposed status effect and be insta downable um, honestly this one i'm going to put it in a i think just above worry stone i think you do have to adapt this because of course nightfall doesn't happen that often but if you are able to chase an, a healthy survivor and kind of wait out until the 12 seconds is hit sometimes getting that extra free down right at the end can be fantastic because not only when they get unhooked they'll be in so your next nightfall will uh, charge faster but it can be really good for just also catching survivors out off air guard a little bit so I'd, I'd, I'd say it's it. I'd say it's definitely, definitely good. And there we are, folks. That is all of the Dredge's add-ons ranked. Honestly, I think he's got some fantastic selections of add-ons. I think even the ones in C aren't necessarily bad. They just don't do as much as some of the ones above it. The only three that I would stay away from are the Sacrificial Knife, the War Helmet, and the Mortar and Pestle. Those three are terrible. If But run any of the other ones. You will have a much fine game, and it will definitely increase your uh, Dredge's strength. So, yeah, fortunately, the Dredge has some really good add-ons. So, thank you all so much for watching. I really do hope you've been enjoying all of this kind of dredge stuff because we've still got a little while to go yet. Plenty of videos still to be made and we're going to be finishing, of course, with the ultimate dredge guide. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if it helped and for more Dead Bad Daylight content. Don't forget to come follow me on Twitch as well where I'm live four days a week doing mostly DBD and uh, mostly DBD killer as well. So link in the comments and have yourselves a fantastic day. That is definitely the, the final point. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye for now.